Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's Parker Office Hours. I'm Matthias Leube, and today is January the 26th. We have a very short agenda today, and we can get started with the Parker Agent. So let me share my screen. Um, Parker Agent 0 0.12 has been released. Um, and most interestingly, it makes the profiling frequency configurable, and it is actually a default of 19 hertz now instead of the previous 100 hertz. Um, I think we've, in the last previous uh, Parker Office Hour, already discussed um, that like over time, if we have like hours of, of data, um, you can get the same statistical significance with lower uh, pro profiling frequencies. So overall, 19 hertz is, is, is still fine um, if you're looking at longer time durations. And then 19 hertz makes sense because you want to have a, um, in, in the best case scenario, a, um, what's the, <laughs> what's the word called, um, a, a number, that can't be divided by itself. I'm, I'm blanking on the word, um, but yeah, like 19 or 17 or something like that. And the 19 is nice because it's, um, it's close to 20. So, and and those numbers are nice to to work with because um, if if something is very periodic in the system, you might miss like every like if something happens every um, 10 milliseconds or 100 milliseconds, you might miss it, miss these events when they. Uh, when you profile with 100 hertz or like 10 hertz or something. Um, so that's why 19 is, is the default now in, in Parker Agent. Um, some improvements have been made <clears throat> um, to performance and then um, as well as uh, some, some dwarf uh, unwinder improvements. Um, dwarf unwinding overall has been uh, being worked on and is uh, rapidly improving so that like in the next couple of weeks, we are hopeful to, to have Dwarf unwinding enabled by default, which is currently not possible due to performance issues. Um, <clears throat> yes, so I think that's pretty much it for Packer Agent. Um, hopefully next time we'll have uh, something more to tell you about like Java support um, in, in Parker Agent with the async profiler, et cetera. But that's pretty much what we're um, able to release right now and what we're working on as of today. Um, and then for Parker itself, I think next to various UI improvements, which aren't ready and yet able to show, um, the most interesting current development uh, is done by Thor and Thor is <clears throat> working on um, ingesting error records directly. So what does that mean for, for, um, for Parker? Um, or for profiling. So, I mean, this is like a more of a FrostDB um, um, database um, technic, technical thing. So overall, I think uh, what it boils down to is using Arrow to, to ingest data means we can take the profiles and kind of transform them into error records. And then those error records we have in memory, and eventually we will store them as parquet files um, if persistence is enabled. and what this will allow us to do maybe in the future is to actually um, also next to B prof um, profiles directly receive um, profiles as as error records. So um, as you can see, the the benefits are kind of like CPU wise, um, the the ingestion will be quite a lot uh, faster uh, in terms of CPU and memory overhead, um, and we're working on improving those. Uh, going forward, but yeah, like hopefully, if this like is compare, com yeah, similar to the current uh, parquet ingestion, then we we might in the future be able to ingest error records directly uh, via an API. So that would be great. Um, and yeah, uh, I think this is this is kind of what we've we've been working on with um, with these. Uh, Error record ingestions. All right, so I think that is pretty much the uh, end of the agenda. Um, so yeah, Parker Agent V12 with 19 hertz um, profiling frequency, and then um, Parker has been released with the, uh, not yet released, but being worked on with error ingestion. 
Um, and that might be behind a feature flag soon. So people can start using that, but the right ahead log isn't working with that and compaction is all uh, like on the brink and things like that. So yeah, stay tuned for the next office hours where we'll have more. And with that, we can have q and I don't know, Julian, do you have anything to talk about? <laughs> Looks like I'm the only one today. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Oh, and my camera is dead. Um, yeah, no, I have, I have nothing, nothing for you today. Okay. Yeah, so just a quick recap, like Parker Agent 012 has been released. Um, and I think because we are only um, profiling 19 times a second, the CPU overhead will be a lot uh, less. And then I think overall, like dwarf unwinding is it's being worked on. So that might become the default going forward. Um, but yeah, like no big UI improvements or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I think next time maybe uh, Vaishali will be able to talk to us about like Java support, things like that. It's been quite quite busy, but a bit <laughs> slower in, in terms of uh, feature development that we can show already. I'm curious if the, is the, is the Parka team going to be at Postdem this year? That's a good point. So next week, Vaishali, Kemal, and I will be traveling from Berlin to Brussels, and Javier um, is is coming to to Brussels as well. So four people, and I think there are actually two talks um, that are happening that we we are um, doing, and both of them are actually by Vaishali and Javier. So one is in the in the binary dev tools binary tools dev room um, on the stack unwinding without frame pointers. Um, and then the other one is in the kernel room. They're pretty close to each other. So like this one is like 10, 10 40 to 11, 10. And then this one is like half an hour later at 12 on walking native stacks with BPF without frame pointers again, uh, somewhat related, but yeah, quite distinct. So they're both giving the uh, these talks. Um, but Kemal and I will be there as well. I'll probably be around in the in the monitoring and observability room quite a bit, or the go room. I mean, that depends on where we can get in, right? <laughs> yeah. Are you going okay. to? Are we, yeah, we, I will probably be in the go dev room the entire weekend. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Uh, the go dev room is one day only, though, right? Or is it actually oh, it two is. days? Oh, it's one day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We we we'll see you there. Yeah, perfect. Looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. If there's nothing else, then I think we can we can close the the office hours for this week and see you in two weeks again. And see you in next week <laughs> in between. Yep. All right. Awesome. Have great travels. Bye bye.